guys my name is Anvi and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be talking about this look right here that I created using some of my makeup products so this look is pretty muted it's pretty nude so you can go ahead and wear it with any any dress that you like a traditional dress or a western dress you just have to change your lip color if that's necessary and you can go ahead and accessorize according to the dress that you're wearing so this look is pretty simple and uh, it makes you look really elegant and put together, I believe. So yeah, uh, this is my first time doing makeup on camera. So please go ahead and tell me how you liked it in the comments and would you like to see more content like this? So yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started. hey guys what is up so i was watching a movie before i decided to film this video hence the glasses so i'm gonna be tying my hair up in a bun first so that it doesn't disturb me while i'm doing my makeup the next step is moisturizing and i'm gonna be using the johnson's baby lotion the original one the one in pink bottle to moisturize my face it's not too heavy not too light just perfect for my skin as of now as my skin is acting a little cranky lately so i'm gonna be massaging it in uh, on my neck on my face and i'm just being really thorough with it so we have a perfect base time to prime <laughs> so i'm gonna be using uh, the most eligible primer from sugar this is a silicone based primer so it helps me fill out my pores so I have enlarged pores near my cheek and my nose chin area so I'm just gonna be tapping it into my skin to help it kind of fill it in. The next step is concealer so I'm gonna be using this Swiss Beauty's liquid concealer. For the price this is so good you guys this was really affordable I'll be linking all the prices and everything down below so you can go ahead and check them out so I'm gonna be just covering up some of the areas which I want it to be concealed and some areas which I want a little brightened I also am putting it on my eyelids uh, to use it as an eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer it works pretty well for that so yeah, I'm just blending it in with my fingertips with um, tappy tappy motions just to be as gentle as I can around the eye area. So I'm going to be using this brush, foundation brush to kind of blend out uh, the rest of my concealer before it kind of dries out. So what I do is I apply the concealer and let it sit for a minute or two so that it doesn't move around too much. So that is one of the tricks to kind of make your concealer last longer. And always, always tap in your concealer guys, don't swipe it around your face, it won't serve any purpose then, you just have to tap, tap, tap so that it kind of doesn't move around a lot. So yep, I'm pretty much blending it all in properly and uh, I use a concealer which is one shade lighter than my foundation because sometimes some foundations tend to oxidize on your face which makes it a little darker. So the concealer kind of saves it and it kind of makes your face look a little brighter. So the next step is powdering. So I'm going to be using this loose powder from me now and I'm just going to be applying it on my eyes so that we can go ahead and do our eye makeup. The palette that we are going to be using is from Swiss Beauty. It's the HD textured palette. So this has some matte shades and some shimmer ones. Pretty good. And I do really like this palette uh, so what we are doing here is this is a terracotta light brown kind of shade which I'm using as a transition shade so I'm blending it uh, near my crease area and I'm also kind of flicking it out to create like a faux wing effect and I'm kind of blending it in with the brush at the same time So yeah, I took a cleaner brush just to kind of blend it in uh, better. So that's what I'm doing here, kind of blending it in well. So next I take a darker terracotta shade and I kind of uh, put it on the outer corner of my eyes to deepen it a little bit. So that's what I'm doing here. The terracotta shade is also a matte shade and I'm kind of again creating and focusing on that wing effect 
and uh, trying to blend that out a little bit on the middle part of my eye, dragging it inwards. Blending is the key here you guys, blending is the key. So I'm gonna be taking a clean brush and I'm just gonna smoothen out the edges by blending it in. So that's what I'm doing here. You have to work hard and uh, smoothen out the edges otherwise it looks pretty harsh and not cool. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here, blending out the edges. That looks pretty good. The next step is a shimmer eyeshadow and that's what I'm gonna be doing. So this is kind of a champagne light gold color which I'm gonna be uh, putting all across the middle of my eyelid and also the inner corners of my eyelid. Kind of swirling it around just to make it look a little glowy. Then I'm gonna be taking the same terracotta light brown shade that we used as a transition and I'm just gonna blend it all out to make it look as seamless as it can. And then to add a little bit of a glam, I'm just gonna be using a glitter eyeshadow. This one is from Swiss Beauty and it's in the shade Champagne. So I'm just gonna be pressing it down around the middle part of my eyelid and also the inner corners. So lately I've learned that a glitter eyeshadow kind of ups your makeup game on a really different level. It kind of upgrades your eyeshadow looks to another level. So again, I'm gonna be taking those two blending shades which we used as a transition and I'm just gonna be smoothing out the edges once again after the glitter eyeshadow so that it looks seamless. So finally, it's time for foundation and I'm gonna be using my Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation from Maybelline. This is a boon for oily skinned people but dry skinned girls kind of just stay away. This is a little too dry for your skin. So I'm taking my foundation brush and blending it all in. It blends like a dream but you kind of have to work fast because it dries really fast on your skin. But it blends really well and uh, I'm in the shade Warm Nude 128. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm looking like a yellow Oompa Loompa here, but maybe it's just the lighting that I'm using, but this foundation is the perfect shade match for me. So let's move on to our brows. So I kind of use a dark brown eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows and uh, I kind of like to make an arch near the end just to make it look a little more feminine. Uh, filling in your brows makes a huge difference you guys if you don't do it already start doing it don't ever mess on it because it kind of changes your whole look so here I am giving finishing touches to my brows and now we're gonna brush through it to kind of eliminate all the harsh edges and make it look a little more smooth I'm just gonna brush through my brows to make it look a little more natural. Next up, blush. So I'm gonna be using this tint from Etude House. This one's their Dear Darling tint and I'm applying it liberally on my cheeks and blending it in with my foundation brush. This is pretty long lasting and that's why I really like it. None of my looks are complete without a blush. This kind of adds a lot of color back to your face. And anyway, I'm known to have really big cheeks and this kind of makes it look really pretty. And this is my little secret. I kind of add a little bit of a blush on my nose too. It makes you look really flushed and pretty. Let's move back to my eyes now. So I'm going to be using the Lakme 9 to 5 liquid eyeliner. Create a small wing. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm taking my time with it because I don't want to get this wrong. Doing the same on the other eye. And we're done. So next I'm going to be using this Lakme Iconic Mascara. 
This one's a really good one, but this kind of lacks in a little bit of a volume. This kind of lengthens your lashes, curls them up a little bit, but it lacks in volume. Now doing my lower lashes. So if and ever you kind of mess up your liquid liner, which happens to me a lot, so there's a trick, go ahead and take your concealer, a flat brush and uh, cover up the mistakes that you did. Go ahead and carve out your perfect wing. And then blend in the concealer and your wing will look crisp and sharp. And I'm just taking a powder and setting the concealer in place so that it doesn't move all day. And then going in with that liquid liner again just to kind of give it a finishing touch to make it look really perfect. There we go. <laughs> So as this foundation is already really matte, I'm not going to set my whole face. I'm just going to do the parts where we applied a little bit of a concealer just to make it set in place. So that would be my under eyes. So now I'm going to be taking the same palette and the same transition shade that we used for our eyeshadow. And I'm going to be chiseling my nose a little bit. So blending it in with my foundation brush a little bit so that it doesn't look really stark. Now I'm dipping into the same shade again mixed with a little bit of an orange just to kind of bronze up my skin. So a little bit on my forehead, my cheekbones and my jawline. So next step is lip balm. So this one is from Maybelline and it's their baby lips collection. This one is pretty moisturizing I must say. Now my ladies, it's time for highlight and it's obviously my favorite part of this video. Look how that skin glows. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the same eyeshadow palette that we used earlier and that's the best thing about this palette. It has a highlight shade, it has contour shades and a blush shade too. So this palette has got your back. So I'm going to be using the first three shades in the palette as my highlight today. So I'm going to be applying it and then I'm going to blend it with my fingers. Make it look a little more natural and not too stark. Then it's time for the nose, tip of the bridge and tip of the nose. There we go. And then we do under the eyebrows to give the eyebrow a little more definition and a little more lift. And then under your lip, chin and on the forehead. And then I blend it in with my foundation brush so that it doesn't look as stuck. So now it's time for the lips. So I'm going to be using this liner pencil from Sugar. It's in the shade Brazen Raisin and I'm just going to outline my lips with it. And then fill it in a little bit. So now I'm going to fill in the rest of my lips with this beautiful shade from Maybelline. It's in the shade Nude Nuance. It's a really really beautiful brown tone nude and it goes with everything. And I think it will suit every single skin tone. There we go. Lips are pretty much done. But I'm just gonna go in with the liner pencil one more time to define my lips a little bit more. And we are done.
Hello. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you guys like the video as much as I like making it. And if you are going to be trying this uh, look, the coming festive season or the coming traditional puja that you have at your home, please go ahead and tag me on my Instagram, which will be linked down below. And also, if you really like the video, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and also a subscribe. Uske baju mein ek bell notification hoga. Also, please go ahead and press that so that you get notified every single time I upload another video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.